Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. I'm super excited to get started with this tutorial. This will be the first Google Keep tutorial. So what is Google Keep? Google Keep can capture your ideas with your voice, with images, notes, you can check off tasks, you can add to-do lists, you can write, you can do notes to self. You can also share all of these things and collaborate with other people. It's great for honey-do lists, it's great for outside of school stuff. So let's just jump in and show you how to get Google Keep on the three different devices. I'm also super excited about the setup that I have. Hopefully everything works and nothing locks out, but if it does, just stick with me. So the first part that I'm gonna show you is how to get to Google Keep on your computer. The great thing about Google Keep is Google Keep will save information with whatever Google account you have it set up on. So I have multiple Gmail or Google Suite accounts that I have Keep on. I have a personal one, I have a business one, I have a school one, and so anything that I save to Google Keep will save for that account always. So I don't have to worry about mixing accounts when I'm saving separate things. So when you're logged into your Gmail, right, there's a couple different ways. You can go up to the waffle here and you can scroll down and you can click on keep and that's gonna refresh my page and I'll have some of the ideas and some of the things that I've been keeping track of. Or you can go to keep.google.com. These are all the different types of keeps that I've put together. Obviously, I've been to some conferences and taken some pictures of some things, added some notes. Uh, I've got this one that I use regularly here. I've got links that I've grabbed from my computer. I've got my business goals there for this year. Anyway, so this is what it looks like on your computer. So now I'm gonna slide my screen to my left. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the iPad. So when we slide to the left, over here on the left hand side of the screen, I am actually in the um, iTunes or the Apple iStore. Uh, and so the App Store, I'm gonna search for Keep. And I already have it installed. And so it's probably gonna pull up right there that I already have it open. It's right over here on the right. It says Google Keep Notes and Lists. And you'll see that I already have it installed. So I'm actually gonna open that and you'll see that I am signed in to the exact account that I was just in. You can see all of those files, all of those images, those pictures, they're gonna drop in here and you can start to see some of those things. And again, I'm on the iPad. Now, when I unlock my phone, which is gonna be on the right-hand side of this screen, you'll see that I'm in the Play Store, right? The Google Play Store, you'll see that Google Keep Notes and Lists, it says right there that it's installed at the top. So when I click on that, I'm gonna open it and you'll see that it's going to pull up in a different view all of the Google Keeps that I have with this account. So when I switch, I'm gonna switch over to my personal account and there won't be a lot of school stuff, there'll be some religious stuff, there'll be some shopping lists for my wife, there'll be some other links, there'll be some SEO stuff for my website and other things that I'm looking at. But when I click on my account right up there on the top right, I click on my picture, you'll see it'll pull up the other accounts and I have scribbles, I have articles, I have notes to myself, I have some just little reminders, some SEO stuff, and other things like that. When I click on refresh down there at the bottom, it'll pull all of those in as well, and it's loading all of these. So again, if I go up to the top, click on my account, go back to my school account, you'll see that I have all of these different notes, pictures, images. There's also some voices, voice notes to myself. You can see the little images right there on this one down here. Topics to bring to leadership that is shared with two other people. Obviously the people on my leadership team, the principal and the other assistant principal. So this is the first tutorial in the Google Keep tutorial playlist. Again, I love you, I appreciate you. I am glad that you're here.